What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. We're going to do the best things to do. Let's do it. That's right, Island Hoppers. We're coming to you from the west coast of Dominican Republic in this beautiful tropical paradise. First up, here we are at Bavaro Beach. Now, it's important to understand the layout of Punta Cana. There's Cop Cana and then there's Punta Cana. Now, Bavaro Beach is the main beach in the area of Punta Cana where many of the popular all-inclusive resorts are. There's another area in Punta Cana that is nearby Cop Cana, but this is not it. So when you're in Bavaro, you will be in one of the most popular hotel zones of all of Punta Cana. And you can see this beautiful beach has many different palm trees. If you went a bit north of here, you'd go to Macau Beach, which we will be showing you a little bit later. Here you'll find white sand and the translucent blue waters. Now we're going to do a little bit of a road trip, which leads to a catamaran and then a tour out to Sauana Island nearby Baya Hibe or La Romana. This is probably one of the most beautiful beaches in the world on Sauana Island. And here we are now at the Caribbean Lake Wakeboard Park. This is a fun place to go if you want to get the adrenaline flowing, get the kids out there having some fun at this wakeboard park. Now, if you wanted to get an all day pass here, it's $149 per person. That includes the pool and the beach, whole day wakeboarding, kneeboarding and equipment included. If you wanted to do a half day with wakeboard, that also includes the pool and beach, two hours of wakeboard and kneeboard for $119. The location here of Caribbean Lake is very convenient. It's right there next to the downtown Punta Cana area. So getting here is not a problem. You don't need any special transportation. I recommend getting a private driver while you're here in Punta Cana that you call anytime you need. I will introduce you to my driver at the end. This here is downtown Punta Cana. So down here at downtown Punta Cana, there's a mall, there's also restaurants, there's a big shopping market. It's not really a financial area as much as it is just a commercial area for lounging and hanging out. They also have a hard rock restaurant and I'll show you the Coco Bongo. Now here we are at Coco Bongo, a place you can watch shows in the evening time. Located right next to locate located right next to Hard Rock Cafe, you have the Coco Bongo. You can get tickets here for the evening show. It's a disco and they also have live entertainment. People like to come here for something to do in the evening time. Yes, you can bring kids to Coco Bongo. It's for all ages. So here I am now having lunch at Jellyfish. You can find Jellyfish restaurant right there on Bavaro Beach. So if you're looking for a restaurant that's not attached to a resort and it's a standalone place to hang out, get some good food, definitely come on over here to Jellyfish. It's an open air seating right there along the beach. They also get a live DJ going uh, in the evening times and on the weekends. So check this place out. Plenty of seating. So if you guys wanted to try and set up a venue here, you may want to talk to the management. Now let's talk about golfing. So some of the most popular golf resorts include Corrales, which is the old school Punta Cana. Then you have La Cana Golf Club, Hard Rock Golf Club. Believe it or not, the PGA Tour plays out here in Punta Cana. Now here we are at Juanilo Beach. Now Juanilo Beach is here in Cop Cana and it's not easy to get to because you have to go through a guard gate to get here. Now if you wanted to come out to Juanilo Beach, you would either stay at one of the resorts or go to a beach club here. You have to check in with the front desk or show proof of reservation. This is actually considered the most beautiful beach in this Punta Cana metro area. Mostly famous because of the shallow water where you can walk quite far out in waist deep water, beautiful translucent colors. And that's what people come to Punta Cana for, this color water. All inclusive resorts and palm trees with white sand. Now here we are at Scape Adventure Park. Scape Adventure Park is $129 per adult. The price includes transportation and access to all of the attractions around here. If you wanted to add on some more stuff in a package deal, you can talk to your tour agent about those activities. You can find parrots here, also iguanas. You'll see monkeys on the monkey islands. Also going around, you'll see some indigenous walks uh, where the Taino people used to live or how they lived. Also several different water holes, which we'll be showing you here in a moment, but lots to do here. Also zip lining is very popular and getting off road in one of those side by sides. This is a look at one of those cave water holes where you can go swimming. You can see we're walking down now, beautiful color water because of the lighting, but there's a few others around here that you'll want to check out. 
I would recommend starting your day here around 10 a.m. because there's a lot to see. They do have food on site. I ended up getting the cheese crisp with chips. It actually was pretty good. And then, as you can see, we're now headed to Hoya Azul. This is one of the most famous blue holes. These are like cenotes that you would find in Mexico, really, and you can swim in them. But they're here at this park, as well as other places around Punta Cana. This one right here is probably the most popular, and this is inside Skate Park. It is included. You will be required to wear a helmet when you actually go here. They offer that on site. So if you have any issues with that, you may want to bring a hairnet or something for your head if you're worried about wearing a helmet. It is important to acknowledge that each one of these activities include a little bit of a hike or a trail to get out there. So expect to drink lots of water and be sure to stay hydrated as you continue to explore this park. I just wanted to point that out. Also, if you plan to visit Dominican Republic and go to Santo Domingo, we did make a video about that. So if you wanted to check the links description below and the comments, we have a link to that. One way to get around Punta Cana is by motor scooter. You can see it's $29 a day with rent a scooter. But if side-by-side, four-by-four and off-roading is more your thing, then do check out the buggy tours. These are typically at places like Scape or other adventure parks. And in some cases, you can also rent a side-by-side -side at a private rental. Now these buggy tour prices do vary depending on where you're gonna go. For example, if you did a half day buggy tour to the water cave in Macau Beach, that's about $54 per adult. But if you do the monkey land and plantation safari tour from Punta Cana, that's about six hours and it costs $95. So it just depends on how long you plan to be out there and where at. Now along with these land excursions, they also have boat tours. So they have a variety of different boats like catamarans, speed boats, just depends on how you wanna go out there. Some people like party barges and they come back absolutely sauced up from partying so hard. Uh, these are usually coming back just before sunset and they also offer some form of transportation back to your accommodation. So if you're going on one of those party barges and you plan on drinking and having a good time, make sure you've already lined up the transportation beforehand so you can get back to your hotel. Just something to keep in mind. Here we are now in Cop Cana. So we've already shown you the Juanillo Beach area, but the name Cop Cana comes from the French word Cape. Out here you will see many different palm trees, beautiful beaches. A lot of them are man-made. This is a master plan community. Many different uh, real estate projects have gone on here as well as all-inclusive resorts. People typically get around by golf cart here, so if you're gonna stay at one of the resorts or maybe an Airbnb, try to line up a rental for one of those golf carts. And like I said, I have my private driver that I'll be introducing you to at the end. Here we are now at the Copcana Marina. Around the Copcana Marina, you'll see a lot of those condos and some hotel accommodations, but mostly major yachts and boats coming in and out of the Copcana Marina. Another thing to do while in Punta Cana is zip lining. Whether you're out there in the jungle or right there along the watering holes and the caves, lots of different activities involving zip lining. And the third most famous beach is Macau Beach. As you can see, it is not as built up as Punta Cana, Bavaro, or Cop Cana area, but it's popular with the locals because it's a public beach. Nice place to do some swimming and chilling out. Now let's talk about all-inclusive resorts. This here is a look at the sanctuary. I did stay at the sanctuary for one night. I wanted to try it out. I did a full review on Island Hopper TV Hotels channel. I also stayed at the Royalton. They have three different properties in one little area along the Punta Cana beach area here. And I also reviewed that on Island Hopper TV Hotels. If you wanna go over and check out that channel, you'll get a good insight into how good these all-inclusive resorts are. I'll just tell you right now, the sanctuary is amazing. The price is around $650 a night, and that is all-inclusive, includes all-you-can-eat food and drinks. And at first you might think the price is high, but then when you add it all up and your experience included, it actually comes out to a very good value in my opinion. This is located in the Cop Cana area. Some other popular all-inclusives include Eden Rock and Hyatt Ziva, as well as Hyatt Zolero. And we touched on it previously, but I wanna remind you guys, 
do look up going to some beach clubs, especially if you're looking to get out of the hustle and bustle and all the ruckus around some of the public beach areas because a beach club can really provide a more enhanced experience, a little bit more private, and it may be worth it for couples or people who are really looking to do some relaxing. And beach clubs all around Punta Cana, in my opinion, are worth it. Cop Cana also has beautiful, Cop Cana also has beautiful beach clubs, like this one here at the Opie Beach House, which is one way to get into the Cop Cana area without having a hotel down here. As you can see, most of these beaches are man-made, but they still got that nice white sand. You wouldn't even know it's man-made. It's just they're developing this whole area. And then stopping to get some tacos. This here was in downtown Punta Cana. And here we are at Los Establos. This is a place where you can do horseback riding. This is for those of you who enjoy doing some equestrian activities, getting out there on a horse. I just love horses. And this whole place, Los Establos, is worth checking out if you also love horses. Behind me here, we have Dorado Water Park. Now it's currently closed it's going to be open by the summer 2024 and it's supposed to be one of the best water parks in all of Dominican Republic so Dorado Water Park if you're coming here by summer 2024 definitely check this place out right now it's still under construction here it is in the springtime now we're going to check out Dolphin Discovery here in Punta Cana Dolphin Discovery is an interactive place you can go to get in the water and hang out with some dolphins take some pictures so there you go all right, so now what I wanna do is give you guys some useful information when visiting here in Punta Cana. So when you arrive by airplane, make sure you fill out the e-ticket online. You will do an e-ticket arrival. It takes about 10 minutes to fill out the form online. I suggest doing that before you get to the airport. And then you will also do an e-ticket for the departure back to your home country. Now the currency they use here is the Dominican peso. The main language they speak here is Spanish, although English is spoken about 35 to 50% of the time. So don't expect a lot of English spoken even in the resort. So brush up on your Spanish and bring Google Translate. And if you guys are looking for a driver, you can contact Adonis. I'll put his uh, Instagram right here at the bottom here and you can message Adonis. He's got a nice car. Check this out. Big old comfortable car. The park service is Punta Cana. Guaranteed. Always. Professional. VIP. Yeah. Okay. Exactly, my man. 